This uh, video is going to be about uh, open and closed center hydraulic systems on tractors then. Uh, if you would uh, like uh, to know other things, uh, please uh, leave a comment. What would you like to know about? Uh, make another video. And uh, also, I'd uh, appreciate uh, every subscribe I get. So thank you very much. Okay, I'll uh, be explaining what open and closed center hydraulics are on tractors. And uh, why it's important to check uh, when you're changing uh, maker tractor, uh, specifically either to or from John Deere. So this is open center. So we have a pump there and that constantly pumps. So it goes round and round. So when you're not using spool, it just goes round and round to, uh, to the back end. It goes round. When you're using spool, it goes whatever way and then back to there. Okay, so... Uh, so the likes of like Ford, Massey, Inter, Leyland, David Brown, Fiat, etc. Most things will be that, especially old tractors. Okay. So you go to close center. So close center, you, go, you have a, a load sensing pump, a variable pump. So uh, that will pump up pressure now, as you can see with spool here. It doesn't actually go join the middle, so it doesn't go right through. So it pumps the pressure into a pipe, then when it reaches pressure, the pump stops pumping until it actually gets used. So when it starts getting used, that's when it starts to pump round. And uh, it doesn't actually go right round, it goes to, the, to whatever spool you're using, then goes to the back end again. So this now, it doesn't actually pump all the time. So that'll be John Deere, uh, 2130s, 2030s. You can see all these uh, six fours up to the new ones then, and uh, some uh, some more modern, maybe like a Fent or something like that. Maybe that that's uh, load sensing, or maybe a, a T T seven uh, something like that. Maybe those have load sensing. Uh, I'm not sure which models have it, but someone will probably know. But uh, it's mostly thing to do with John Deere. They've been doing it for years, so. So, problems with the two systems now. So, we're, we're, here's where you'll have a problem is your bale wrappers, your hedge cutter, single pump, you know, uses by uh, tract hydraulics, uh, log splitter, back actor, uh, post knocker, straw chopper, feeder wagon, uh, block cutter. So, that's a problem is when it's using the tractor hydraulics. When the machine has its own spool and it's using the tractor hydraulics. Uh, and you'll find, well, on a McConnell hedge cutter or a McHale bale wrapper, you'll actually have um, these pa uh, parts to convert the spool block to uh, open or close center. So uh, when you're buying a new wrapper, it'll come with a little extra plug that you can screw in instead of a plug in the block to convert it from one to other. Basically, just blanks off the uh, middle bit that uh, allows oil right round, or allows it to go right round. And uh, McConnell have a similar system. You take a plug off, and there's like a thing in, inside it to take out, and you change that round. So, uh, but things that will be fine is trailers, your grabs, uh, you know, tanker spreader with opening lids and uh, opening hatches and such. A plow, a reversal plow, that can turn round. And the uh, ordinary baler. So those use the tractor spool to open and close everything. Uh, so they, they, they're fine. It's, it's just for things with their own spool valve themselves in. But they uh, need, need thing. So see there. Yeah. So uh, yes. That's it.